Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Kenya. In the last episode, we were able to successfully launch our naval invasion across the South Atlantic and into Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Landed a fairly lightly contested. We were able to, you know, get on the beach and get into the city pretty quickly. Moved over our reinforcements and are now pushing out from the pocket. So, that's good. We're also driving our way across the other fronts as well. They don't have very many forces on this front. So, hopefully we'll be able to continue to make headway. Uh, we currently have... Uh... Brazil here at 43% capitulation. So they're halfway there ish. So we'll have to uh, continue to make our headway. We need to take so uh, Sao Paulo here. That's a, that's a big victory point. That's 20 points. There's also a five pointer there. There's a five pointer there. There's a 10 pointer there. There's a 15 pointer. Brasilia. Their capital. We are driving towards. So. Hopefully. This won't take too long. Now. Someone did mention in the comments that I'm going to need to re up my Marines. Uh, offensive because they've actually reached their uh, their stated goal and they're not on aggressive so we'll go ahead and have them do that and I'm going to go ahead and put them on aggressive because they now have reinforcements so they should be able to go on aggressive so we won't need to worry about that they'll just continue to drive you know as fast as they can All right, we are getting our new new army group trained here. We almost have all the equipment they need. That's good. All right, so let's go ahead and get it going. And here we are again. Oh no, should get from Bahrain. There we go. And we need a little bit more of this. Okay. The armored infantry is still making their way to the front. And we still have air superiority. We still do have air superiority. Very good. All right. Now, the other thing I need to do is make sure that our cores... Hmm. Ah, we don't have the compliance there that we need. Uh, let's see. Could I potentially have you root out some resistance over there? Yeah, let's give that a shot. So instead, what we'll go ahead and do is begin coring that. Looking like, why are you guys not redeploying? Hmm. 
Go. Strategic redeploy. Thank you. Otherwise, most of the rest of this uh, army uh, are at least back in our controlled territory. So that's good. I think this was like a five pointer. Yeah, it's five pointer. That's also a five pointer. And this is a 20 pointer. So that's like 30 points of victory points right there. That is another port. Frenchman terrain commander skill. Uh, let's see. Throwing a few extra skills on that commander there. is the supply situation uh, still not great uh, let's expand these armies a little bit I want to expand them all the way out to there That may not be the best idea. At least, at least down to there. The same thing there. All right. Some uh, units in there. Okay, they're holding. Okay, reinforcements are on their way. Yeah, they should be fine. Good. Expanding in this direction pretty well, but not in this direction. This is the direction we really need to go. Hmm. Could bring in. Could bring in my special forces.
Honduras has capitulated. All right. Panama is at war with... Okay, those guys. Russian bloc and the United Kingdom, or no, the... What is this thing called again? The Anglo-Saxon Alliance, right. I don't think I can actually force capitulation until I take Sao Paulo. Five points. Ten points. Five points. Ten points. Ten, five, ten, five. Our two, our two fronts are about to merge. That's interesting. We're gonna have to maybe reorganize some things a little bit. Let's we'll see. You guys go into submarines. Have we gotten our first submarine yet? Not yet. Dominica, Dominica, joined NATO. Okay. All right. So, what do you need? You need two frigates. We have two more frigates. No, we only have one more frigate. Okay. This fleet needs another cruiser. And that destroyer. Let's see. I will have it also take those Corvettes and that frigate as well. St. Kitts and Nevis has joined NATO. I could like set up a template. Task force composition editor. New template. A patrol group. Not sure how to use that. Oh, I'll just do it manually.
We are going to need a lot of air superiority aircraft. If experience serves. Alright, we made some headway there. Alright, there's an improved military department. Let's see. Let's keep this upgrading. And let's infiltrate the civilian administration. Do it. What do we need? It's not under production. No. Odd. You get assigned, and you get assigned. Commence the operation. Can you all move in that direction? Let's extend these fronts. Let's, let's keep these guys because I want these two armies to kind of take over this southern area here. We start restricting these armies down to just this section. And then we're going to divide these armies as well. Have them focus a little bit. Players are good. Where are those... Why are you just moving? Strategically redeploy, please. I need you there as fast as possible. Monika's well, capitulated. All right. We're about to unify the fronts. Let's start expanding this. All right. They've all connected. Okay, so... Uh, is that how I want to divide everything? Alright, armored infantry, you guys head to that front. Get rid of this. Get rid of those. Alright. This army... Take up to there. This army take up to there. These armies get rid of those fronts. Let's make sure that you're assigned those two fronts. There we go. All right. Let's just make sure that both these armies have proper orders. Or that basically all these armies do. Ah, 
They still have a attack order there. All right. Let's alter that. There we go. And those guys head in that direction. And of course, they immediately retook it. Well, that's slightly annoying. Oh well, the reorganization is still gonna work that way. In fact, let's get rid of these. You guys focus on pushing in this direction. And these guys focus on pushing in that direction. There we go. That's, that's unfortunate, but we got to get these fronts reorganized anyway, so there's going to be some, some issues in that regard. All right, submarines. Okay, there we are. It has reestablished again. Okay. So far, so good. I think we've taken Sao Paulo. All right, excellent. And where are those special forces? They're still on the... They're still redeploying. Uh, this fight will be over before they even get there. Brazil is at... Uh, what is it? 67%. All right, we just took it. Did that change things? Seventy-four percent. All right, very good. We've taken their capital as well. Where is their new capital? Down there. They do have a port there. Do they have a port? Yes. Okay, so they can get supplies through there. Give me the last few of those done before this peace conference hits. Definitely have them on the back foot.
No surprise we haven't been able to get through there. That is a lot of enemy forces that are retreating there. Brazil is now at 79%. You might need that. Whoa, what's going on here? Thirty six divisions. Keep pushing that into our aircraft. How goes our research? We're about to get transport aircraft. Have we gotten a submarine yet? We have not. We have gotten another... Another cruiser, another destroyer, two more Corvettes. I'm going to go ahead and put the Corvettes in there. 15 Corvettes. I'm going to probably bring it up to 10 frigates and 10 destroyers and five cruisers. I think it's probably what I'm going to go for on that fleet. And then if we do manage to get some aircraft carriers, a couple of aircraft carriers, eventually. I think we're a long way away from aircraft carriers. Yeah, we don't even have this yet. And it's going to take 582 days to get the basic aircraft carriers. Amphibious assault carriers... Uh, more explosions and in Chinese infrastructure. Yes, that's fine. They want military bases. That's fine. Now what? We're short. We're short metals. All right. Oh, that's fine. Eighty-five percent. It's only a matter of time now. Oh, well, we're going to take this. Potentially. River crossing. Ah, that, that would definitely cause trouble. See, we do we do we have planes that have that kind of range? Oh, 
our multi-role fighters just barely do. We'll want to start getting to dedicated, you know, air superiority fighters and uh, close air support and that sort of stuff eventually. There's our new recon tanks. And then we're going to go ahead and get our new utility vehicles. Thirteen days. I'd like to see this finish before we end the episode, if possible. It does not seem to want to conclude. Oh, keep that on. The thing is, they're all like scheduled as support. do it actually oh my goodness there's a whole bunch of stuff okay so what I think we're gonna go ahead and do is end the episode here we're about to force Brazil to capitulate and that's gonna put us into a peace conference which is gonna probably take a little while so I don't necessarily want to get in there just yet didn't think they were that close but yeah, they, they do appear to be that close. 94%. All right. So hopefully next episode, we'll get a peace conference with the Russian bloc. And we're going to try and take as much of it as we can. Focusing primarily on the African territory. And then anything else that we can get our hands on. And then we'll see how that goes. All right. But for now... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.